Good morning, YouTube gang. Top of the morning to you. That was corny as hell. Um, what's going on, guys? I'll. It's morning. It is. Uh, I don't know why that's so important. You're probably not. It's not going to be morning when you're watching this video, but for me, I think I feel that it's important. It is a Thursday morning, and uh, it has almost been a week since I auditioned for The Voice. And today I'm gonna to talk about that. And I just have a lot to say. I'm gonna start by saying, put it out there right now. I did not get a call back. Um, that's okay. It was, the experience was so surreal. So the whole time I was there, I was like, is this like really happening? Like they, I was, it was just a lot. Like there was just, there was a lot going on. So I'll just start at the beginning and work my way down. I have notes like a professional and I'm proud of myself because I never put in work to record a video. Not that it's work, it's just notes. Anyways, so um, it was February 15th um, of 2020 and it was a Saturday and it was at a big convention center in Baltimore and I am from Rochester, so Baltimore South, so it was like four Longer than that, it was like five, six hour drive. And um, I got there the night before with uh, two of my close, really closest friends. We got an Airbnb. And so that was really cool. It was like a little vacation. So it wasn't like everything was riding on this, this whole six hour drive, it was like to get there, you know, it was, it was like a vacation for us. So it was really, um, it was nice. So we get to our Airbnb the night before. I am very much so, a creature of like, I need to feel 100%, um, especially when it comes to like performing or singing. Anytime I do an open mic, anytime I do anything, I'm very like, I have a routine of what I'm gonna drink, how much water, like I need to be rested, like I just, you know. So I was very, they were drinking wine and stuff that night and I was like, no, like I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna drink water. And uh, I went to bed kinda early and um, woke up very early, I was pretty nervous. Um, my audition time was for two o'clock, but I knew I wanted to get there like at least two hours early. So I was, um, I think I was awake by like seven and my, my girls were still sleeping. So I was like, I'm gonna go explore around the city. Cause I was just really anxious. I had a lot of anxious energy. I took a shower, I got ready and then I like, walked around Baltimore for a minute, which I probably wouldn't have done looking back because if you don't know, I have a prosthetic leg and I just got a new leg not too long ago. So I'm really still just like getting used to it and like breaking it in. And I was not thinking about how long I was about to be standing in a line for when I was out adventuring the city of Baltimore, like the world was my oyster. Um, so I was, I walked by like two miles, yeah, a little less I think, but I went to a juice bar because I needed to find a juice bar because I love me a fresh juice and um, it was beautiful and I was really like just listening to my music and just, you know, in my element and then when I got back, um, it was my friend's birthday, so I was, we were saying happy birthday to her and I gave her a muffin and then <laughs> I'm really giving you guys like exact recap of my day um and then we got ready to go we stopped and got uh some coffee at a mcdonald's and then um the audition was being held at uh baltimore convention center so like the main big convention center every city has one and they dropped me off at the entrance i was just kind of like went around and went inside I was looking around and I was so confused because there was obviously people there that were there for the voice. I saw people sitting everywhere. I saw a couple red cards right off the rip and I was like, cool. Cause like I, I was hoping that I would see some. I was just really confused about where I was supposed to be. Um, and I didn't even actually ask somebody where I was supposed to go. I just saw uh, another girl ask a security guard and then I kind of eavesdropped and I followed her around. <laughs> to the outside of the building and there was this huge line and I got in line and it was uh, 
very cold. It was very cold out, and it was probably like noon, almost noon at this point. So I did get there two hours early, and I was lucky that I got there when I did because the line just got longer. It just kept getting longer, and um, yeah, I don't know. I was waiting for a really long time. I was, it was probably like two hours, maybe a little less than two hours. I didn't mind. I didn't. Truthfully, I was so excited. I think everyone there was really excited and if you're going to be a dick about waiting in a line for like an experience like that then like just you might as well not show up you know so um i was just kind of waiting in line i was chatting with this girl behind me and her family just a little bit just about you know just trying to like pass the time because my friends were not with me at this point and uh finally we got in the security guards were hustling us out. Like, they were like, get inside. Like, if you don't have your paperwork out, get out of the line. Like, they were pissed. And I understand, because they were probably there all morning and it was cold. But like, they were, they were at the ants in their pants. So I was like, trying not to step on anyone's toes. I was just doing what I was supposed to do. Um, had my paperwork ready. And then once I got inside, I was like, ooh. Like, I felt it, like, you know, I feel, felt the energy, I saw the like, people waiting, and I was like, this is for real, like, this is real shit, like, I'm here, like, I'm about to audition for The Voice, and leading up to this, I just, it wasn't real, like, I was just like, I'm not, I don't know if that's really gonna happen, like, I'm really gonna be in this room and sing in front of a judge, um, so I was just kind of like, I was just chilling, I was just trying not to think about it too much, they put you in a line, Again, a big line into four groups. Um, they search your stuff, and then you have to have your paperwork so they can assign you to go sit into a group, into a row, and then they will eventually call your row of like 10 people to go up to a room and do your actual audition. And um, there was still a lot of time in between this of waiting I got a coffee, I sat down, I was kind of like sad in the beginning, I really had no one to talk to, I really didn't feel like, I was chatting with some people, but you know, there was no one that was like there with me, and I was just in this huge place, you know, and um, and then I met this really awesome girl, and her mom, uh, from Pennsylvania, and we just hit it off, and we were just talking, and she really was like, she was gonna sing an Amy Winehouse song. So we really, we were, that was cool, because I, I was kind of sad that I, I wasn't making any friends, and then I did make friends, so that was cool, and we kind of stuck together after that, and then, um, and then, yeah, and then they brought us upstairs, and then you sit in, you sit outside the room, you sit in chairs, and I was just, like, meditating, and everybody was, like, totally, like, you could feel the nerves, you know, everybody was totally, like, I don't know, getting wonky, and I was just trying to breathe, and I was like, you know, no matter what, like, I'm just happy to be here, and uh, I was, the only thing I was worried about is I didn't feel, because I was nervous, like, I didn't feel like my voice was open, like, really open, like, uh, you know, if you're a singer, you know that feeling, you know, like, when your voice is really warmed up, and you're about to open, when you open your mouth, you know that you're gonna have a sweet sound come out. I did not feel that way. I felt like, like my voice was tight, and, and um, so I was just trying to breathe, and I was like, doing the like the little lip roller, like the the thing, and um, I was just like, I hope, I hope I get warmed up quick, cause like the time is now. Like this is my shot. You know, this is my only chance. So, um, they brought us into the room. There was, the judge was this really nice lady. She had her laptop out. There was a desk. They sit you down in these chairs. Um, you're all facing each other. So there would be like five on this side and there's five on this side and you're all facing each other. And then there's a little X in the middle and her desk. And um, I was like really nervous I was going to be first. I just had a feeling. I was just like, dang, like, I really, I might just be first. And I was like, maybe I'll just get it over with. I wasn't first. The first girl that went up was so nervous that she started crying 
almost and her voice was nice everyone in that room could sing but it was just it came down to your nerves honestly like i feel like if you're there like if you're there and you, you put all this energy and effort into auditioning you can sing like you definitely have the ability to sing it's just how you're gonna present yourself how you handle your nerves you know and um i was third and i sang a song called on and off by maggie rogers and looking back I would have chosen a more popular song. I should have chosen a more popular song, period. Like, I, it was, I did good. I know I did good. It's kind of like autopilot takes up when I was up on the X. Like, I was just like, you just kind of shut down and I'm just like, uh, and I'm like, I think that sounds good. <laughs> like this disassociation in my brain. And uh, she was like, very good. You know, the judge, everybody claps. You clap for everybody. But I did not feel like I got a good bell out. I did not feel like, uh, you know, like you just, you, you know, when you have, especially when you're singing and you're performing, you'll have that moment where you just, it resonates with you. You're like, I really got my point across of what I was trying to say through my voice and through my song. And I did not feel that. I was, I was very nervous. I was shaking. And, uh, yeah, and then the girl that I was friends with went, and she sang Valerie, and it was really good. And uh, there was another guy in the room, and he was, like, amazing. Like, his falsetto was just, like, it was just hitting the notes perfectly. It was just, I was like, dang, like, I was, I was like, shit, like, he's probably going to get a call back, you know? And uh, then at the end, she was just like, thank you guys all for coming she was like I know that not everybody can come up here and do this so like you should be proud of yourself she was like unfortunately there won't be any callbacks and uh but check your emails she was like check we're casting all year so keeps so send a video submission in and uh and she was like and thank you guys you know a lot for coming out and I was like okay like I can breathe now like, I was just, like, holding my seat. I was nervous as hell. And I think everybody, you know, everybody was a little sad. But it wasn't, um, it wasn't, I wasn't destroyed. I was just, like, worked. Like, I gave up my all. I came here. I did this. And I can chill now. Like, I walked out and I was happy as hell. I was just, like, I can breathe. Like, I took a deep breath. And I was, like, I'm just chilling now. And this sense of relief came over that, like, if I was, I would like to audition for um, any of a show like that ever again, because I, I do think that it would be a really good time. And I would love, I would love to see myself on that. So I, I in the future, would continue to try to audition. And after having this first experience, I feel much more like secure about it. I think I would go about it a lot differently, just in terms of like my nerves and how I was feeling. Um, also my outfit, I really kind of fucked up. I did not, I know it's not the end of the world. I did not feel fly. Like I was not, no, I, I wore an, an older sweater I had and I had blue jeans and a belt and my Buffalo London boots, my white Buffalo London boots. So my outfit looked okay. I did not look cool like I didn't like stand out you know like I I definitely felt kind of like casual a little too casual and I didn't want to go too I, I didn't want to go too hard I didn't want to be like look at me but I wanted to you know you got to make your little you have to make presence that's what it comes down to too and they're looking for a look um I also had my jeans rolled up like I mentioned earlier I have a, I have a prosthetic leg that's black and uh yeah, I don't know. I love, like, if I wear pants, I usually roll up my pants a little bit. Um, just because I have, like, a cool leg. Like, low-key, like, it's fire. Like, it looks cool as hell. So I, like, roll up my pant legs, and I, I did it both on both sides, so it looked even. And, like, I know I looked, I looked okay. I just, I didn't feel, I did not feel fire. And I think that that, that was, not detrimental, but that was something that could have 
uh, boosted my confidence more so because I was thinking about how I looked when I was getting up to sing, which is not, you know, that should already be like in the bag. I should already be like just focused on singing. Um, but either way, I did, I gave it, I gave it my all, you know, like what more can I do? Like I did well. So totally proud of myself for like holding it down and just doing that shit. Like, you know, I really did that. It was a long drive and, and yeah. So after that, um, my friends, I ran out to the street because I saw them like down the street a little bit and I uh, gave them hugs and, you know, they were just really proud of me and it was a good moment. So it was a good, it was a, it was a good day and I, I made a, I made a friend out of it. So if you ever get the opportunity, um, if you're ever there in your city or you just want to do the road trip thing and you just really want to go do this like I did, do it. Like absolutely do it. Like it's just, it's fun, you know, like it's really like, it's a cool sense of being like everybody here is this, has a dream, you know, like everyone here has that dream and, um, and that's beautiful, you know, so you really like can relate to these people and um yeah and and also I made it use I brought my guitar and I brought I have a Martin but I have like a big heavy case for it so I brought that shit all the way from Rochester to Baltimore so I was kind of bummed out because I was just like dang like you can't you have to sing acapella at the open call so I, I I didn't even get a chance to play my guitar and uh you know I brought it all the way so that night, it was Saturday, I found an open mic at this place called Zizismos, Ziz, Dismos Bar. And they have a thing called like the Broken Hearts Club. And I was like, this is perfect. Like, this is, this is God's plan. Like, I'm gonna go show up at this shit. And, um, and it was really fun. And I did an open mic and, um, made more friends. And so that was really like... I redeemed myself, not like that I failed before, but it gave me a little more, you know, that I got to at least put on a little show uh, in this different city and yeah, and make my presence. So I was just very grateful for the whole experience and really just felt blessed. I mean, that I had friends that were willing to come and do this with me and um, it was great. So uh, that's really it. We are at 17 minutes, so if you watched all of this, um, heads off to you. And yeah, uh, looking forward, I'm sorry that I, like, I just am kind of inconsistent. I'm, I'm trying to be better, and I will. Um, I'm making more orderly things about videos that I would like to make, so expect that. I also want to do a, a houseplant tour. Or plant tour at some point because I have fucking plants everywhere so I'll talk about that for 18 minutes on another video um yeah guys thank you so much for watching um please subscribe and check out my covers and check out my other videos uh and I should I'll probably upload the song that I, I sang at the open call at the first audition if you'd like to see that so uh love you guys